All right, you guys. So the thumbnail that I'm using is the thumbnail from C. Fernando. I believe that's how you say his name. He put out a video on yesterday, I believe. I'll leave it below. And it was on the wings of Nibiru in Australia. And it caught my attention at first because it looks like that black curve that I posted. And the first initial update was this black curve representing the, the wings of Nibiru on this ancient coin. And so at first glance, it, it, it caught my attention. I looked at the video and there, there are parts in this particular video that you can see what's being shown on this thumbnail. Um, I fast forwarded it. It was only like three minutes or four minutes. And you can see the same wing shape. And I can't tell you how many times I've seen Nibiru, but at second glance, because I saved the photo, it looks like those two crescent moons that I saw when I first, when I had my first dream about Nibiru. This planet that looked like a reddish, burnt, cracked sun swooped in and eclipsed our sun. And there was a little group of planets behind it. And at some point, there was two crescent moons on the side of it. Um, I, I'll leave it below. It was so much that came out of that because one, I didn't know anything about Nibiru. I think that was my first dream about it. And then, I don't know. If I, I think it was my first dream about it and maybe I got the audible before or after where I kept hearing seven moons. And I didn't know, speaking of seven moons, they just came out of a drink called Seven Moons like a few months ago. But there are seven moons or planets in the Nibiru system. It was something crazy to happen. I don't want to go through it again. Um, so I had no idea. It, and the magnetic pull that's going to cause Nibiru to come in full force, it, it's, it's, it's just going to swoop in because there's going to be some type of magnetic pull that's just going to, boom, bring front and center, apparently. This is after researching it over the last years. Okay, you guys? So, one more thing. I'll just add this in here. Um, I don't know. I was watching Mr. MBB in Theory's video on the Blue Blood Red Moon. And when I heard him mention the solar eclipse, I didn't realize we had a solar eclipse coming up. And it's a partial and whenever I go through those dreams of, I think I've had three dreams of solar eclipses. One was 10 or 11 days before September 23rd or September 20, August 21st last year. The one we had, the total solar eclipse. And I want to say I had two. And one of them involves California. So I will go back. Um, so I looked for the date. I was looking for it for the last two days since he made that video. I made a mental note and a, a, a written note. And the first one we're going to have is on February 15th. And it's going to be mostly visible in Antarctica, South America, and parts of the Atlantic Ocean. We have three coming up, you guys. Um, the second one is July 13th. It'll be most visible again. Um, I say again, but Australia and the Antarctica. So the first and the second will be both visible from Antarctica. Um, Australia just caught my attention just because I was just talking about this Nibiru video. He lives in Australia, I believe. I've seen a few of his videos. Um, and the third will be most visible at the North Pole 
Northern Europe, Northern Asia, and parts of Eastern Asia. And that is on August 11th, 2017. So we're going to have some partial solar eclipses. And I believe I've seen other people have dreams about solar eclipses after, uh, you know, the great American solar eclipse, total solar eclipse. And if you didn't want to, if you didn't know that information, we, we do have it. I'll be searching for correlations to dreams or visions, whatever. But that's, again, that's February 15th, July 13th, and August 11th. I'll leave C. Fernando's video below, and I'll leave a link to, I think it was maybe spaceweather.com, where I found those dates of those particular um, eclipses. It's just, you know, small parts. It just depends on where you are and where you can view a greater coverage of the sun as far as the the solar eclipse okay guys i'll leave the video i'll leave the link below and i'll leave the video also below